at the same time you verbalize it into the microphone. There's no consulting with team members on this. This is an individual exercise, but every point you get will accumulate for your representative team. There is one point awarded for each correct answer. There is no penalty for missing a question, and there is no stealing in round one. And I'll also remind you of the two rules we have. You are awarded a challenge or two. If you feel like something was an error in the game, you can request a challenge and we'll review it. You also have the JTE rule. You have three of these. It's named the JTE rule because JTE loves to ask <laughs> to repeat a question. So if you want to repeat a question you didn't quite hear the first time, feel free to use them as much or as little as you want, up to three. Competitors ready? Ready. Yeah. Then it is my honor to let Rachel Cushing announce the questions for round one. When you are ready, ye shire wool. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Good luck, guys. Welcome to the league, and here we go. The first category are movies, animated movies. These are movies that are drawn, correct? That is correct. One point for me. And your question is, what country does the Disney classic Beauty and the Beast take place in? Uh, Tale as old as time. It's a wonderful, wonderful movie. Tale as old as time, really, or is it like the 1800s? So France? Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we start with Amy there in the end. What was your answer? France. Give her a point. Nice Move on to Sean. Yeah. France. He had Ooh, France as France. well. Frank. Uh, France. France. <laughs> he almost That's noticed me. That's me. That's That's you. Me. You spend that in France. He ended up spending his France on the correct answer. And to be. <laughs> yes. They're not nervous, Rachel. Huh? They're coming out of the gate strong. All right. Question number two is in the realm of comedies. Characters sing Bohemian Rhapsody in a car at the beginning of what 90s comedy? Very hard to get all the words to that song. Correct. Oh. At one time, I absolutely could do it. We're talking about <laughs> Holy time. crap, I forgot the name. Three, two, one. Oh, I forgot it. I see a little silhouette. Mike Meyer, the Saturday Night Live comedy. I forgot. Doing karaoke with those beers. Wayne's World. Yeah, <laughs> Wayne's World. And then we move on to Frank. Wayne's World. Also the correct answer, Wayne's World, Sabina. Wayne's World. Wayne's World is the answer, Amy. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I like your <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a point so bad, unfortunately, <laughs> I can't. Maybe showing her lack of age there by not getting the early 90s classic. <laughs> Wayne's World, watch the movie. You won't regret it. We move on to category three. These movies are dramas, and your question is, what movie stars Clint Eastwood, Tommy Lee Jones, Donald Sutherland, and James Garner as ex-test pilots who are sent to space to repair an old Soviet satellite? That's kind of the uh, costume I went for today. Is it old ex- Were you a test pilot test in another pilot. life? I'm testing this jacket, and we don't know if it's working. Space anymore. Cowboys. Four, I think it is. Three, two, one and pens down pens down frank your answer sir sean has a great shirt <laughs> <laughs> he certainly does but Give he him a is point. down <laughs> a point in this round sabina it's not a confident hold and nothing written on there we move to amy rachel you're gorgeous <laughs> flattering us with I like compliments. Amy. I wish I could flatter them with points, but we just can't do that due to our incredible integrity. Sean, did you have the correct answer? Was it Space yeah. Cowboys? It was! Yay! Yay! Oh. I remember Yay! that because oh, it had an ending song. That's a weird thing to start playing in my head. So now, as we get into the meat of round one, superhero news starting to try to pull away from box office breakdown with a score of five to three. That was a big pull for Sean. Uh, and now on to your next question, action adventure movies. In Demolition Man, what chain won the fast food wars? Yes. I was going to say, cue the Josh Bakuga I was going to say, there's a couple of people in the audience who would <laughs> love this question, including myself. A couple of people going to this place right afterwards. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and Taco Bell? one. We are going to start with Sabina. Taco Bell? Gene, yes! Ah. Woo! Yeah. 69, 79, 99. Did Amy have it correct? I hate Taco you Bell. You are so talented. <laughs> <laughs> the compliments keep coming, unfortunately. Yep. Not so much with the points. How about Sean? Taco Bell. He yeah. got Taco Bell and Frank. Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely done. Nice. Taco Bell is the correct answer. Uh, yeah. And those nacho fries, I, you know, I can't keep my hands <laughs> off them. Anyway, Superhero News, now a three-point lead, seven to four. 
All right, guys. In comic book movies, your question is, who directed Iron Man 3? Was that the second or the third Iron Man? It's three, I Mark. My head. I'm just so rusty from Friday. I'm just a little worn out. Five. Sean Black. Four, three, two, and a one. We go back to where we started with Amy Martinez. John Favreau is very handsome. He is very handsome. He did not direct no. Iron Man 3. He did do the first two. Have. Sean. Shane Black. It was Shane oh, Black. Oh, Shane. Shane Black. Shane Black Crack. is correct for Frank. Shane Black. Shane Black. Shane Black. Good for Sabina. So now we go to nine to five. Superhero news trying to take a commanding lead into round two. Three questions remain in round one. All right. In the realm of fantasy sci-fi, what 2015 fantasy stars Hugh Jackman and is directed by Joe Wright? I don't know that uh, I've seen all of Hugh Jackman. I still haven't seen the, uh, the greatest show in when he sings and There dances. are people in our audience who will be very Pam? happy people saying that. I've seen like six times. Five, <laughs> four, three, two. Is that Nirvana, Roy? Right? Pam? Please, Sean, I don't know if you already wrote the answer down, if you were still thinking about it. What do we got? I don't have it. He does not have it. It's only three short letters. Sabina is cool. Sabina is cool. <laughs> 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 it seems like we might have team mutant in one of the each other's matches now uh sabina no nope. <laughs> that's what the movie got on rotten tomatoes but that yeah. is not the answer and amy kate and leopold, <laughs> kate and leopold. it was a huge movie. <laughs> i won't give that to her incredible it. romantic yes, comedy yes. we were looking yes. for pan Ooh, I got it. That wasn't a movie. No, it's not a movie. certainly not a good one. Not only is it a movie, it's my favorite uh, style of pizza from Pizza Hut. Two questions <laughs> remain, and the score remains nine to five. In 80s movies, how many Karate Kid movies featured Ralph Macchio as Daniel LaRusso? You know, I took karate for three weeks when I was in sixth grade. So you're an expert. I, I, you know what stopped me is the fist push-ups we had. I'm, I can do these push-ups okay. The fists are where it really hurts. Mm. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Pens down. Frank. Two? That is incorrect. Oh. So close, oh, Sabina. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Sabina, your answer? Two? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> two. It's not going to make Makuga any happier. Amy. May the four be with you? Oh, ah, no. you're just on the other side of correct oh. now, Sean. I went with Amy, so. Oh, <laughs> All right, oh, the karate kid. Lost no. on our younger participants. The answer <laughs> was three, and it is still a four-point lead for superhero news. I went into the I final question. Asked Barney Barney oh, round one. Like, Your final question for one point going into round two comes from the category of horror thriller. <gasps> And the question is, who played Lydia Dietz in 1980s Beetlejuice? Another 80s question. Yeah, a lot of 80s questions from a lot of youngins here. <laughs> played Lydia Dietz, and we go to... Beetlejuice is not a horror, it's a comedy. Three, it's fantasy. Two, Winona Ryder. One, pens down, Sabina Gray. Winona Ryder. Give her nice. a point. We have broken the curse. Amy Martinez. Michael Keaton. Oh, it's a good guess. He's in the movie, but he is yep. a different character, Sean. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder is correct. And Frank. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder of Stranger <laughs> Things fame. So now Superhero News is going to be taking a cushy four-point lead. Okay, I got six. Two. And here's where it gets exciting, Rachel, because six out this of eight. is affectionately known as the wheel round. The wheel round, it is called because each... Slice of that wheel corresponds to a category up here at our answer desk. Each category is six questions deep. And in round two, you are allowed to consult with your teammate on each and every question. Each question is worth two points naturally. However, if you're not sure of the answer and you want to request more information, you can ask for multiple choice, at which point we'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. Then the value of the question goes down to one point. I want to remind the competitors that there is stealing in round two. So if you don't get the answer, your opponents can steal it. 
potentially. Uh, Rachel, how do you see this round playing out after what you saw in round one? Like you said, fortunes are made with the wheel round. Um, there are some really good strengths on this wheel for box office breakdown. They're not out of this yet. I'm um, really excited to see what they spin. One of the uh -huh. finest wheels ever put together by Mr. Chris Skoliski. Superhero News, you guys find yourself with a five-point lead. Would you like to spin first, or do you want to defer to your opponents? We will spin first. Okay, Great Sabina choice. is choice. saying yes, and Sean is emerging from his seat. He is ready to spin. He's got a lumberjack stride as he gets up to the wheel. <laughs> What do you think he's looking for, Rich? Uh, comic book movies seems a likely uh, strength for these guys. It is the new show they do. I don't think Con could it get there. It could. A little too excited. Disney Disney films. Film. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. Sabina <laughs> yeah, is ready to go. <laughs> big smile on Sabina's face as she saw a Disney film. Doesn't matter what Sean said. They were going to <laughs> Disney movies. I will be administering the questions in round two and round three because unlike Rachel, uh, I'm not competing so much these days, so I'm allowed to look at the document because I don't get questions good so much. Okay, your first question to superhero news is, what do Aladdin and his monkey Abu steal from the marketplace when you're Bread. first introduced to them in the movie Aladdin? Bread. Two points well for done. superhero news. Well done. <laughs> right out of the gate. They're allowed to consult with their teammate. I don't know that John's going to get it. We consulted, like, messages. <laughs> <laughs> I over him. I was like, I got this. The telepathy <laughs> worked out your next question. What is the name of the main villain in Disney's Mulan? Oh, I don't remember that one. Genghis Khan? We'll, we'll take, take multiple yes. choice. Take multiple choice. I can provide that. Is it A, Faju, B, Shang? C, Yao, or D, Shan Yu? Fa Shao? A? A? That is incorrect. Oh. So now we go to box office breakdown. Do you happen to know the answer? I will with that D. Give him a point, Rachel. Oh. Well played, guys. That's a yes. big thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We see it so many times. You're trailing in round one. You get into round two. You can get yourself a couple steals. And you're oh, right back. Oh, frustrating was the emperor. Time. You go into round three. Absolutely confidence builder, too. Okay, your next question in the world of Disney movies. What is the name of the Disney character better known as the Great Mouse Detective? Never saw that one. But it's Sherlock Holmes. It's based on Sherlock Holmes, but he has a name. We'll go multiple choice. Yeah. We can give you multiple choice. Is it A. Sherwin, B. Doctor Dawson? Oh, Basil. C. Basil, or D. Radcliffe. Basil. C. Give him a point. They Ooh, got one point. All right. Yay. So glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's feeling very grateful for his partner right now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Good choice of partner and her and his partner made a great choice in round two. It would appear your next question from Disney movies. Adriana Casalotti was 18 years old when she was asked to voice what famous Disney character? Little Mermaid? It's not the girl from Moana. She was like 14. Okay, Ooh. we need to guess quickly. Sleeping Beauty. That is incorrect. Oh. It is not Sleeping Beauty. Uh, steel chance. Box office breakdown. To talk this one out. They cannot go to multiple yeah. choice. Two points on the line. Okay, we can go to five, four, three. Multiple choice, please. Two. We can't go to multiple choice because they did not originally go to multiple choice. So I got to put you on the five second clock here quickly. Five, four, three, two. Oh, Moana. One, it was not the one we were looking for Snow White. No. That was my second guess. Oh. Second guess, for sure. <laughs> Cannot do the multiple choice, unfortunately. Two questions remain for superhero news, and all of a sudden, it seems that the pressure might be on them a little bit to put oh. some more distance between themselves and box office breakdown. Your next question. In what 90s Disney animated film do you hear <laughs> Disney tunes, such as Stand Out, After Today, and eye to eye. A goofy movie. 
Two points. No hesitation. That's true. I forgot about the songs. I had the leaning tower of Chisa on that one. <laughs> Somewhere, Danny and Molly Fernandez are smiling. And in our last question in round two for superhero news, they have a nine point lead. It is the following Who voices Jane Porter in 1999's Tarzan? Mini Driver. Two more points. Well played, Sabina. Well played. I only saw Tarzan in Spanish, so I don't know that in the English voice. They gave away some opportunities for steals. Box Office Breakdown able to cash in one. Do you think Box Office Breakdown has what it takes to catch up? I believe in them. She believes in them, and they now need to believe in the wheel. Which member of your team would like to spin? I'll be doing it. I probably won't do it as well as Sean. <laughs> it's going to be Frank <laughs> stepping right up. No one has ever said. Over <laughs> to the wheel. And uh, Rachel, as he gets up there, I'm seeing the DC. It is on there. Yep, 90s is on there. Yeah, I think uh, these guys like the yeah, more Great job, updates. Frank. Great job. <laughs> that was fantastic. Frank gets heckled by the crowd, but his teammate Amy always ready to support him. Oh, oh, he's oh, got oh, new oh. releases, and he ends up spinning hard thriller. Uh, are you confident in hard thriller, or would you rather take your chances and spin again? <laughs> We're going to spin again. Oh, yeah. 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 That's good. That's better. better. Spin. For Frank representing Team Bob as the wheel goes round and round will be new releases. Will be opponent's choice. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, what a turn of events here as Frank confidently strolls back to his teammate Amy. So you guys have spinner's choice. You guys can select from any wedge on the wheel. Which one are you gonna take? Uh. Uh, it's an honor. Okay. Wow, we get to choose. Gonna have to chairs. put him on a five chair here, Rachel. <laughs> chair is delightful. Stand by for chair. Five. All right. Four, uh, three, let's go with. Uh, we'll go with new two, releases. And it is gonna and be mm -hmm. new releases. Can Frank recover from his chair malfunction right. in time? Your Don't feel bad, Frank. Is... I've had that problem. <laughs> it's really high, guys. In new releases, your first question of six worth a possible two points. What famous actor makes a cameo as an Asgardian play oh, my Damon. Loki during a play in the movie Thor Ragnarok? Sam Neill. That is in No. Oh. Going to move on to superhero news for Matt the steal. Damon. Matt Damon is correct, and what a huge steal. That's really big. Perhaps a mortal wound for Team Box Office Breakdown. We'll see if they can come back from that. Your next question. What psychological horror thriller starring Dane DeHaan and directed by Gore Verbinski was released in early 2017? Google multiple choice, please. I can provide that. Is it A, A Cure for Wellness, B, Bitter Harvest, C, Don't Knock Twice, or D, Collide? A cure for wellness. One point. Well done. Okay, and your next question. Set in Boston in 1978, a meeting in a deserted warehouse between two gangs turns into a shootout and a game of survival in what critically acclaimed 2017 movie? Oh, I never saw that movie completely. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Slight, B, Aftermath? Free Fire. C, I want something fire, with fire. Or D, Going In Style? Free Fire. One point. <laughs> Halfway through the three question slate and they're just trying to eat their way yep. back into this game. And your next question. What actor has small roles as a thief in Baby Driver and the boyfriend of a murder victim in Wind River. Oh, the guy from Walking Dead and also the Punisher. <laughs> Five. Uh, John Berenthal. Four. Berenthal. Three. We need a final Oh, answer. John Berenthal. John Berenthal, we can accept <laughs> no. that. Two points. 
Nailing it up the pronunciation to get in there. It's now 22-11. They got a shot here, Rage. They, they got themselves get, out of knockout territory, if they can so get the, it's still a game. The last two correctly here, and all of a sudden, we are going to have ourselves a big game. And your next question is... Nominated for a number of Academy Awards, who was the director Jordan Peele. of the critically acclaimed movie Get Out? Jordan Peele. Oh, I'm sorry. Was the question not hard enough? No, that was correct. <laughs> I was waiting for more. It Jordan is, Peele. It yes. is a correct answer. And we'll get on to it. <laughs> 20 to 13. Amy throwing some shade on it. Yeah. 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 We gotta up our game with question difficulty. All right, we'll see if this one can be a little bit no. harder. Uh, your last question in round two, and this could cut the lead to five going into round three. Bruce Greenwood plays the slimy president of the United States in what sequel released in September of 2017? Uh, the Kingsman, uh, The Golden Circle. They got two more points, Ray. Oh, oh, that's good. Good cap. Well done, box office. All of a sudden, we got ourselves a ball game here yeah. again. 20 to 15 going into round three, the final rounds here. How do you see this match playing out? I love the fight in box office breakdown. They got their their strength category, uh, missed the first one, but came back fighting. I love matches like this, so I'm excited for round three. It's an excellent point. They went from missing the first question in new releases, a strength of theirs, to talking trash to us about how easy the <laughs> questions are. And so now we move well, on to the round three. I am well aware that I am not the best. I'm just merely top 25. Um, <laughs> we go back to superhero news first for your numbers. Now, here's how round three works, is that each team is going to give us a series of three numbers. Those numbers range from 1 to 20. So you pick whatever your luckiest numbers are within that range, and those numbers will correspond to a movie category up here at the answer desk. Your first question is worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. The last one is worth five. Here is the proverbial rub, is that once you hear the category for the two-pointer, the team must choose which competitor is going to answer. You must answer on your own. Whoever answers that one, the other team may will answer the three-point question alone, and then you're allowed to confer only on the five-point question. Superhero News, you are in the lead. Which numbers would you like? Two. Thirteen. Six. Two, thirteen, and six. Interesting strategy, going from here to there and then back to here. <laughs> okay, box office breakdown, what are your numbers? Eleven. Four. Five. <laughs> Very sequential. A, a hanging five, if you will. <laughs> Expect another number to come after. We did not get that. So we are going to give the questions first to box office breakdown. Your first category you selected was number 11. So this one is going to be worth two points. And I will tell you the category is in the world of director Steven Spielberg. Spielberg movies. I will do it. Amy Martinez is going to be doing it. Mm -hmm. This is for two points. And this is for you and you alone. Your question is, Christopher Walken played the father of Frank Abenam. Catch me, you can. What, Steven Spielberg movie? Hmm. Jaws. It is not Jaws. Would have been a hell of a picture if it was. We were looking right? for Catch Me If You Can. Dang it. Catch me if you can. That. Less sharks in Catch Me If You Can. <laughs> yes, that's true. Sharks make every movie better. People so sharks. we are. Gonna, that's a very good point. Wow. We are going to stay with Team Box Office Breakdown for your three-point question, which is going to be asked to Frank, and, and it is in the world of the 2000s. 2000s movies. 2000, 2010. Hell, it could be more recent than that for Box Office Breakdown. Frank, will look. Question is, who played Ron Burgundy's rival, the newsman Wes Mantooth, in Anchorman, Vince Vaughn. The Legend of Ron Burgundy? Vince Vaughn? Three points are coming to box <laughs> office breakdown. Well done. All right, box office breakdown. You've been trailing most of the game, but now you find yourself in a position to answer this question correctly, which you can confer with your teammate. You get it right. You have a lead, and then the onus will be on Superhero News. You selected number five, and that, cate that category is going to be 90s movies. Okay. 90s <laughs> movies. They seem okay, confident. Good. And your question is, for five points in the lead, Whoopi Goldberg uses the pseudonym of Rita Miller 
to access a bank account with laundered money in what film? Ghost? No, is there one movie with Ted Danson? Three, two, I still one. Think Jack Lynch. And your winner! <laughs> Oh, I got it! It was Ghost! I got 26! There. I think they're excited to be in the league and they might be a formidable team. That's right. Well, they already added to their stats here in their first competition with a technical knockout not having to answer a second.